Hey everyone, Tim again, Kelly Corner here. Listen, little thing happened to Christy and I on our last trip. We had the RV all hooked up, um, ready to rock as usual, and uh, you know, did our usual safety checks. Went around, be sure the uh, lights were all working on the RV, and we want to be sure you know brake lights, running lights, clearance lights flashers and brakes we're all working well right in the middle of our trip i suddenly lost brakes on my camper and i'll show you here what i'm talking about so so right there is my my brake box, right? Kurt. And um, usually when you mash the brake, uh, this will count. This will count to how many, ever many seconds you have it set for for the trailer brake to activate. Well, it wasn't doing anything. It would every now and then just like flash zeros. Um, at any rate, not good. Uh, I was able to take the wires where the show you here I was able to take the wires where that you know plug into the camper on the pigtail um, I was able to take the wires from the connection that was here the wires ran ab above this um, this hitch here so I was able to take those wires and move them around and I could uh, intermittently get the brakes to work but uh, I found the problem to this whole situation. We were able to limp back home, but um, I would have to mess with those wires. It was almost like there was a short in it or something. I wish I had a, took a picture before I started taking it apart. I think I do have one picture of it. But um, anyhow, um, I went ahead, and if you look here, just to give you a quick rundown, I mean, this is the basic um, hitch, you know, lighting that comes with your hitch, whoever you have installed that. They'll install lines that run. They're tied into your tail light here. And then for your brake box, whoever installs that brake box, they'll run it. They'll run lines from that box up to the battery and back down to here. And I don't know if you can see these. There's some wires up here that I have cut. This that I've cut that I'm going to reattach once I fix this issue. Um, anyway, so my hitch was actually here. My hitch hookups were here where the pigtail goes in right here. Um, I've just taken off the screws that held that into place. Um, this slides right off like this. But uh, I just wanted to have this here to, so you get, have an idea. Um, and, and that connection went to here and then the wires went up and over this. And the wires were kind of bent here. So I had really thought that maybe it had been bent too much. Um, but it is, turns out that's not the case. So let's go inside my workbench here and uh, I'll show you what I found was the issue. This is where, of course, your uh, pigtail from your camper plugs into, right? And depending upon your model of connection here, this is a Kurt. Uh, actually, the exact model number of this, I'm pretty sure. Let me look that up here. And it just comes as th with, with this piece, not the wiring. All right, so the wiring does come separate. Um, but it took me a little while to figure out how to get into this. But there's a couple screws, one here and one on this other side. And there's also a screw, this on the bottom here, that actually just kind of clips, clamps on, clamps the wires down once you have them connected. But once you take these screws out, you have this wire shield here that they that this is whoever installed this for me um this was you know wrapped you know around the wire and it was you know kind of shoved up into this neck and that was to prevent water you know shield water from getting inside this unit so i pulled off this shield first i took out the screws and i pulled this open then i noticed that if i pushed that, that that center pin comes out, or that all the pins come out, 
And once all the pins come out, that is when I discovered the, my entire issue. Pretty much you can see, oops, sorry. You can see the corrosion. The blue wire is my brake wire, okay? And that brake wire was connected to this pin, which is corroded out. This white, which is the power, actually, um, that one is starting to corrode it out. So, so there was my problem right there when I was driving. This came loose, which is very dangerous. You know, I actually didn't have brakes on my camper. Luckily, I have a very small camper, but I have a small tow vehicle too. So, at any rate, this was definitely not good. So, you know, when I when I first pulled this off, I could hear things rattling around. I was shaking it, and I could hear it rattling around. And um, this is all the stuff here, if I can show you, that just fell out whenever I pulled those pins out like that. It's just totally corroded. That's all metal. And it just... It all came out of, off of this, I guess. Um, I don't know. But, so, there's my problem. You know, I could run out and maybe just buy another, you know, unit here. Or I could try to just, you know, clean all this up and, you know, open that back up and get the rest of the bolt out of there. Or the screw out of there. Which I'll probably try that first because everything else looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, you know, I think it's worth a shot to try to, you know, just to get this back to where I can connect it again and we'll be safe. But before I do that, I really wanted to know why? Why in the world? So obviously water was getting into this from somewhere. Okay, and this, the way this is supposed to seat on the bottom was my brake line. So, and my power line. So if it sits like this, all that sitting at the bottom. So basically what was happening is that water was getting in here and sitting in the bottom of this and sitting so long to the point that it started to corrode those two wires. So question, how was that water getting into this unit? That's what I needed to know so I can prevent this from happening again. And you know, this always stays closed. So I can't really see water getting into here any. To be honest um, this is a sealed this is all one sealed unit here but I finally figured out what the issue was so whoever put my wiring harness on when they did their wiring they cut the slit onto this um, wire you know cover here they cut the slit and they and they put this all around the wire to protect it which what happens is, is you know you shove you shove this, you shove this inside here, so that kind of seals everything. And it's supposed to be like this, right? This is facing up. Well, guess what? The slit, and I think I have a picture of it somewhat, but the slit was facing up, okay? So this, all this was exposed on my trailer, on my trailer bumper there on my hitch. And, and really, he should have spun it around like this so the moisture gets in what it was doing was when it would rain the moisture would go in between this slit here travel down travel down into my uh, unit here and uh, my seven pin unit here it would sit at the bottom so that's what was happening that's how I got water inside there I mean at least I found the problem right I mean I was wondering what the heck Actually, the white. The white is not power. The white is ground. That's just the ground wire there. The black. The black is the power, and the 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 blue is the break. And the white is the ground. I guess that's the ground there too. And then these are your trailer lights here, right? So anyway, I found the problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to maybe clean clean this bad boy up. See if I can't wallow that out or get that out somehow I mean I'm not a I'm not an electrician guys I don't dabble in this stuff a lot but somehow some way I'll get that out and uh, I'll let you know how I did well, first I'm going to clean all this up with some contact cleaner and get all that gunk and rust out of there and then I'll figure out how I'm going to do the rest okay let's see how it goes 
So what I have done now is I have drilled out what was left of that screw. Kind of cleaned this up with some contact cleaner. This wire here appears to be okay. A little bit of corrosion, not much. Seems to be all right. I've cleaned up these terminals here, this terminal here. This wire here seems to still be in good shape. And I have found me another screw that fits up in here just right. Now the big key is when you drill this out is not to use too big of a bit because that will chew up the threads that the screw needs to go back in. So, so always use a drill bit that is smaller than the hole you're trying to drill it out of so you can keep your threads. So we'll just tighten this back up. Nice and snug. So that's good and snug. And that's it. Now we can put this puppy back together. Well, remember when I originally said that this slit should be face down? Actually, it's probably best if I just go ahead and just tape up this entire shield tape, shielding here. Alright guys, let me show you what I have here so far. I went ahead and mounted that uh, seven point uh, connector back here. And uh, it's nice and taped up with uh, electrical tape sealed up. So we can't um, get any moisture inside this unit. And I don't know if you can see here, it's taped all the way up to this point. Don't know if you can see here, but I've I've actually soldered these connections together and put heat shrink tubing to cover those to for a better connection that won't corrode. Got it tied with the zip tie here just to kind of hold it steady. I think that's a, I'm a little bit more happy with you know the way this was set up before that slit was like right here and water was getting down in there as I was talking about. So so I got everything hooked up. Let's test it out. Plugged in like so. I'll just go ahead and start it up. My biggest problem, like I said before, was the brakes. Well, my only problem really was the brakes uh, not working on this control box. Um, it was just flickering zeros was the problem there. But now let's see what it does. Now that I've fixed all the, found the issue. Ah, perfect. Now I know that my brake, my uh, trailer brakes are working. So that's awesome. And I've already gone around and checked all the other, uh, it's the clearance lights and the brake lights themselves. So everything is probably cleared up. Now, everything works uh, properly now. Does it work, Kitty? It works. Does it work? That's good. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope this helps somebody out. 
please rate and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. See you next time, everyone. Happy camping.